Welcome back to the third double upload, sorry, third double upload this week. Um, speaking on that, I adjusted the laser or just Jester on his second channel, he got JSR, he got double uploads the entire month. I'm gonna go and beat that. I'm gonna get an entire month and one day. So I'm gonna go 32 days, all double uploads, I hope. Um, but anyway, if you're smart, if you notice the pattern, you see today. NFC East, um, by far the most even division, and you'll definitely see why. And uh, let's get right into it. So starting off right away, we got everybody's favorite team. We got America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. And um, I was conflicted going into this. Um, I didn't know if they'd be the Dallas Cowboys of old. I don't know what I mean by that. Um, the typical Dallas Cowboys. This is our year, and then halfway through, oh, sorry, two games in, everybody realized it's not that it's not our year. Um, but so so I didn't know, so I went pretty much in the middle. I went ten and six. Um, they actually don't have too challenging of a schedule outside of those six games, obviously. Um, yeah, so I have them going anywhere from six and ten to thirteen and three. Um, it all depends on how well Mike McCarthy fits. Um, their defense will be there. They um, they lost Byron Jones this free agency. I said, yeah, free agency. To, he went to the Miami Dolphins. Um, but yeah, their offense, if Mike McCarthy can get that to work, um, should be very explosive. Um, so they have some very important games against uh, Seattle uh, week three, Arizona week six, and then Philly week uh, six, eight, and week 16, two very important games. Outside of that, nothing overly important. So overall, 10 and 6, and um, you'll see where I have them finishing up in the division on Friday. So if you watched my earlier video, I called the New York Jets the New York Mets of football. So that leads us right to the New York Yankees of football, at least in terms of New York. We got the New York Giants. Um, yeah, they do the exact same. I have them going 2-14. and 14. Both New York's just in a bad football state right now. Um, I know everybody is saying Daniel Jones is going to take that next step. Um, okay, I disagree with you a little bit there. Um, it's his sophomore season, and the sophomore slump's a real thing. It, it really is. Um, unless you're just absolutely surrounded by weapons, like um, Patrick Mahomes was in his second year. Um, surrounded by weapons, whether you count his second year as his first year starting or his second year starting, no matter what, successful. Um, but yeah, Daniel Jones just has no one outside of Saquon. So, and they also do not have the easiest of schedules. Their first five games are against teams that can easily get twelve wins. Um, then they do play Washington, and then back to twelve win team, twelve win possible teams. And then Washington, and then a 12 win team, then Cincy, and then five more 12 win teams. So, very tough schedule. Um, I have them going, the most I see them getting is four wins. That's, um, yeah, I don't, maybe they beat Chicago, maybe they beat Cincinnati, but that's it. And yeah, the worst I have them going is 0 16. I don't know how possible that is, but you know, Washington can be tough. No, maybe. I'm back. Future me. Uh, again, no spokesperson. Sorry. Here, just in my Christian shirt. Um, please, go check out the website. Um, no, weird URL, but um, it'll help with, it, it will help you for fantasy football. Um, at least I hope it will. It is yet to be tested, but um, it should help you with fantasy football. Please go check it out. Link in the description, like always. And on to that weird kid talking about football so next we have the philadelphia eagles and i see this with them and the dallas cowboys i see this as very much similar to a new england buffalo uh scenario in terms of uh potential and not potential um i see the philadelphia eagles as that buffalo bills team the more of the unknown um we don't know if this offense is going to work if there even will be an offense 
I don't know if that defense will be solid enough. Like it shows a lot of potential. Both the offense and defense show a lot of potential. I don't know if they'll show up. Whereas the Cowboys, we know they're good for about the, their offense. At least I I feel like their offense is just too good to not click. And their defense will be there. Leighton Van Der Esch, Jalen Smith, that defensive line looks very scary. Um, they'll show up week in and week out. But yeah, so the Philadelphia Eagles, I also have them going 10-6 and six, um, with a max at 15-1. and one. It's... It is very possible if everything just clicks. It is very possible this team goes fifteen and one, but it is also very po- possible that they go five and eleven. Like I said, um, with the Bills, their floor was here. Patriots were here, but the Bills' ceiling was here. Patriots was about here. It's the same thing. The Eagles' floor, Cowboys' floor, Eagles' ceiling, can't even Dallas' ceiling, like. It, very similar scenario, and same thing. I both have them going ten and six, with key games Seattle and Arizona. Um, there's a reason those are key games. Um, this time week fifteen for Arizona and week twelve for Seattle. And then obviously the two games against Dallas on um, week sixteen and week nine eight, or eight eight sorry, week eight. So should be a very interesting season for the Philly for the Philly. For Philly, um, they sh- it, it'll be fun to watch the NFC East. And last but not least, we got... <laughs> I don't even know how accurate this name is. We got the Washington football team. Uh, honestly, I'm starting a petition to call them the Washington team. That's about as ac- that's more much more accurate, accurate. I don't even know how... I don't know how to speak, but yeah, I don't know how accurate the Washington team would be, let alone Washington football team. Uh, just kidding. They're all much better football players than I'll ever be. But I have them going one and fifteen. Um, I had them going two and fourteen, but um, that was before I realized I messed up the schedule. <laughs> when I was going through this, I gave them an extra win when they should have had a loss. But yeah, so they're about they're one game off. So yeah, there's a, there's a total of a the biggest gap in this division is eight games, and that's from second to third. But the other two, first and second, tied. Third and fourth, one game off. It should be very tight between those two. Just a big, it's like these two, and then like big difference right here. Um, yeah, the only one I have them getting is against uh, Carolina in week 16. Uh, I think Carolina just, by that point, really won't care enough. Um, yeah, they just, they won't care at that that point. Their, their season's done. Granted, so is Washington, but I had to give them one win. Um but they very easily, as I mentioned, could go 0 16. But they could go 4 and 12. Um, so the exact same uh, floor and ceiling as the Giants, just I have them actually getting one win less. The only two interesting games are the Giants games. That's Those are the only two that should be close, I think. Unless maybe the, well, the Carolina game, Cincinnati. That, that's it. That, that's all I got to say on the Washington team. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. Please go yell at me in the comments. We'll get into a nice little debate, formal formal debate, formal debate about um, how the Cowboys are going 16-0 and because it's our year. Um, but yeah, just please leave a like and subscribe. You don't have to, only if you enjoyed the video. Um, and if you didn't, go yell at me for that. Say you need to make better videos. Come on, man. Um, but yeah. Sorry again for no spokesperson. Uh, I'll work on it. I've got to get some money to hire some people, but we'll see. I, I don't know what's happening with that. Um, yeah, adios.